What is up, guys? We are back with a new segment of what we're calling Going For It, uh, our football podcast here on the Junk Drawer Show. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sat down with Craig this week and we talked all things quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, this, of course, is prior to Carson Wentz being traded because naturally we're a jinx. But I hope you guys enjoy everything anyway. Uh, check out the segments and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. But you you mentioned a name. We're doing a lot of quarterback talk tonight. I like but I like- mentioned a name that also uh, is sort of upset with the way things are being handled in Seattle. I know. One Russell I Wilson. Believe it. This is was new data. Tell me things. Cause I bet you know more of it. I read it and I was like, Bruce, Roussel. I thought that was a done. So Life. moments he was, he was getting ready to go interview on, uh, I, I forget who's who's radio show, but he was getting ready to go interview and, and whatnot. And his team released information that he was upset at the the assets that were being used for his offensive line. And he did get he made sacked. made them known. He, he he most sack quarterback in the la, in the past five seasons. Which makes no sense because he's so good and figured out figured out how to get away from that. And they're in the playoffs and competitive every single year. It blows my but it just speaks volumes to he to threw twenty Russell's touchdowns level. the first five weeks last year. First five weeks he threw twenty touchdowns. And he uh, we'll we'll gush about Russ in a minute, but so he releases that information minutes before this radio show, knowing it's coming up on this radio show. Okay. Then I didn't he, know. Yes. Then he does the show. And of course, the the host being a good host gets this information and asks him about it. And he says, yeah, I'd like I'd like more of a say in the offensive personnel that we we run out there because they had also just released released uh, uh, Chance Warmack. I think that's his name. Chadwick Warmack. I don't remember. But Warmack was his, is his last name. And they had just released him, who was a big offensive line piece. And uh, Russ had said that he wanted more say in the offensive line and, and those pieces and stuff and kind of left it left it at that. Seattle then internally it had been discussed and, and kind of opened up that they weren't happy that he went to the press with that. Ah. So now there's friction. I like that. I also like that because last year, before he signed his deal, his extension in Seattle, it was rumored, and who knows how how true this rumor is, that Russ wanted to come to New York. Oh, boy. Sierra did not like Seattle, and she wanted to be in a bigger market for her and for him. thousand percent. That's going to be true. Just on us, just well, you like basically are friends with them, so you gotta. We gotta <laughs> I we did DJ for them in uh, for a whole evening and oh, got to shake Russ's hand. It was pretty great. You connected with them. You played one two step for her one two times. You yes. did that. You did that after I cleared it with her and Russ. I was like, "Hey guys, is this all right? People want to hear it." And she was like, "Do it." And I was like. You pointed at me. So I'm gonna take for, that. Just for the people, which this could be its own part of the the, the clipping structure. This man played the one-two step for Ciara in her presence amongst other people, and it vibed and it hit and it was it hit. and the land was good and the people were happy. <laughs> so when we tell you on this show that. She's not happy in Seattle. It comes from that level of proximity that you were looking at her, looking at you in her eyes. You saw she hates Seattle. She hates it. She wore she, contacts that said, I hate Seattle. Jason, <laughs> that matters. We're married men now. We understand that. Then this offensive thing happens. I, I'm very interested. Players are starting to flex in the NFL like the NBA, and I likes it. I likes it. And I know some old school people hate it. My dad, for example, I'm outing him multiple times on this, but <laughs> there's a generational divide but where they're like, these guys are making so much, they should just do whatever they're told. And I just cannot get with that anymore because Le- LeBron maybe broke, broke it for me. I was a big LeBron fan as he was a high schooler all through his career. Football players saw that, saw his career arc, 
and they want that. They deserve that. So the Patty Mahomes, the Russell, they they do the right things, right? They're get Russell has endorsement deals. He's big on charity. He just won, I think, freaking man of the year. I think he won he the damn well, yeah. yeah. He was giving meals away on the on the freaking Capital One golf challenges that I loved with Peyton Manning. Millions of meals here, millions of meals there. If he's unhappy, that front office freaking blew it again, just like Houston. We're not happy with that. We're a team here, and, and we need to fall in line. No, no, no. You should keep your 100% star player, the most important player on your franchise, happy. And you blew it. I hope he goes to New York or, or, or you know, anywhere, anywhere. But, like, all I have on you is no state income tax. How about that? That is literally <laughs> That's true. It's true. all my team has. Yeah. I mean, but it's a valuable piece. Players seek that stuff out for sure. Yeah. They do, and Sierra might—I might be saying it wrong. Is it Sierra or Sierra? I think it's Sierra. Sierra. Uh, damn it, missed on. This that. is why you're not friends with them. So. But you are, and that's that's a miss for me. I think <laughs> Miami's a win for her as well, though, with the music yeah. and the connection there. But that's dreaming a dream, right? Because whatever team he goes to is instantly relevant as well. If they don't have Swiss cheese line, they're instantly relevant. I would actually be excited to see him. Uh, leaf i know that's harsh but i would be excited about that yeah i just feel like i feel like russ and i um you know me i i've been a russ fan, You're a russ fan. I, should, I gotta find the rookie card and just i have his one of his rookie cards and i love it i love that i, I have love it. that that's phenomenal i love russ i've been on the russ bandwagon probably longer than most people just because oh, definitely. i've known you i've known you Dan, i think his whole career right we met i forget yeah, I almost so. but like a while ago yeah a long and time. you you were on him. He was a what? A Wisconsin third round, starter. Yeah, third round pick from Wisconsin, overager. Like, but I was like, nah, dude. This is this guy's gonna be the truth, and he is, um, he is the truth. He is the truth. Um, but that, I'd love to see him in New York. I don't think it happens. I truly don't think it happens. Um, just you I don't think they have the assets. Something you need something, but it's not. We Dave. need a lot of things. We need a lot. We need Dave Gettleman to get fired first, and then we need other things. Right. But um, I would love Russell Wilson. I I think his time in Seattle has been great for him. I think it's been really good. But the dude does spring training with the Yankees, and what could be better than playing football on Sunday? You do love baseball. The Giants. You do. Love I do. Them. I do. He got. So, he does too. He got. Uh, he's one of what him and Patty actually got drafted in the MLB mm-hmm. draft. Both of them, Patty Mahomes and and Russell got drafted as pitchers. And Kyler. Oh, you, yes, Kyler did too. Th- these guys are on another planet, though. These, I'm not as high on Kyler just because of his size, but I am incredibly high on Pat Mahomes and Russell Wilson. Pat Mahomes is, oh, he's the truth, man. He made that's, in the Super Bowl. He threw the finest incompletion in NFL history. Oh, when he was completely horizontal and hit his receiver in the face. In the, in the face, <laughs> betwixt people, though. There were. I'm not saying he threw it through a guy, but there were people around. And he was this way, slanged it, bonked him. Like, he also bonked Tyreek Hill. Once yes, I, re- I remember that. There were well. two or three bonk touchdowns. Like, while they still should have lost that game because they played bad on every level, the, the final score should have been like 30-28 or 31-28. They, there were touchdowns just released. He was trying to will them to a victory. He's so much better than some of his teammates and that stinks to say i didn't i know that's rude but he showed that and he's got to get the toe fixed that'll help a little more but clearly eric fisher is maybe the greatest uh offensive lineman in the history of the universe because he goes down and this poor guy is running for his life sprints and making dime throws phil sims dimes that people can't catch. Kelsey dropped a couple. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I, I read the next day, I think he ran like side to side in total and throughout the game ran like over 400 yards. It had to be, it had to be the, and the fact that he got those balls out and on target, did he throw some others at people's feet? Of course. Yes. He was running for his life. They were some of the best on the move throws in, in football history. And enough were ESPN on the front page that day after were saying, 
you got to see the throw that didn't get caught. <laughs> like, how often do you see an incomplete being featured on the ESPN homepage? Well, and you hear the the Bucks players were mic'd up, and oh, they well, even on the sideline they were like, "Yo, this guy has got to have the best arm in the NFL." They were amazed. He, he I think it's like it's hard to question that because he can make throws no one else can make. He can hit the deep. He can run the throw lasers. Is he like the accuracy he employed at the Super Bowl squashed my only argument I used to make, which is like, oh, I see him throw some out of people's reach and things like that. Cause you, you did see that. But if he's capable of doing those, maybe he's just having fun out there. <laughs> just, he's just doing whatever he wants. I'm so excited. My wife happens to like him. You like him. I, he's very like a bull. You don't have to be a Chiefs fan to want to watch Patrick Mahomes. No, and, not and I think Russell's a guy like that. Deshaun's a guy like that. We've got a few. I'm going to be rooting for Stafford this year. I think Detroit's a black hole, and it's going to be fun to see if he could do things. He's always, I thought, been more talented than what he was given. Even though he had Calvin, that's not enough. One receiver's not enough for a quarterback. You need no running game at all. Zero. You're he right. was thrown at Calvin, and and I remember a game you and I were watching in Bubbleos, and he threw a bomb to Calvin in triple coverage, and Calvin went up and got it, and we were just like. If there was one other piece on this team, one. Yeah. If what I would love, it's that it's too far gone. It's too far gone. But if Calvin and Stafford were as close as Tommy and Gronk were, you see Calvin show up in L.A. It's too many years off. I don't think it would work. But you know he was my favorite receiver in the modern era. Uh, for me, my favorite receiver just all time, all time. I thought, coolest freaking nickname, right? And there was not a ball he couldn't catch. There was not a ball he couldn't catch, and he was a man among boys, at least it looked that way, too often for an NFL player. Well, I'm going to jump on that and, and kind of circle this all miraculously around, back around to Russ. If he leaves Seattle, that changes the legacy of DK Metcalf aggressively. And I will, I, I will say that defiantly because – I don't know if there's a better person in the NFL at throwing that that raindrop deep ball. Yes. That raindrop deep ball that just comes up and is just miraculously where it's, it needs to it's be. Exactly where it's supposed to be. And that changes DK, DK's ability to do what he does, which is get the fuck downfield and catch the ball. Yeah. And I like DK. I should have bought more rookie cards of his. I was high on him just in my drafting and fantasy, and I didn't back that up. You're 100% right. He's so much less effective with a, a worse quarterback. He has one of the top five quarterbacks in the NFL. That is not going to continue unless somehow Deshaun shows up. Well, and that's Derek Carr. If, if you put Derek Carr on the Seattle Seahawks, which would be uh, – it would be a step down aggressively, but yeah. it would be getting a competent quarterback in – that can do similar things to Russell. He can throw a good ball from yeah. short, medium to short, and he's got a good understanding of the game, can move a little bit, not like Russ, but can move a little bit. DK doesn't have the season he had this year with Derek Carr. He does. It just doesn't I happen. I don't think he has that level of season with anything other than a, the, top, the top five guys. And Russell's one of them. You could argue he's three, four. I don't put him at one or two because I have that for Rodgers and Mahomes, but that's that's just you know my humble. Yeah, I mean you can't put Russ there until he wins one, not on the back of the Legion of Boom, you know, and that that defense held it down for him. And when he had the opportunity to win it and kind of solidify it for himself, he threw a pick, and it was a bad pick. Yeah, you give that ball to Marshawn every time, though. Yep, every time. Not, not every that, single that, time. Not that that's not talked about enough, but. <laughs> 10, no, not even nine out of ten. No, not even nine out of ten out of ten. Just give that ball to Marshawn. There was a Peyton's Places uh, episode where he interviewed Mar Marshawn, and they they obviously spoke about it, and he was cool about it. But it's like they should give me the ball. Yeah, yeah. I think everybody knows that Marshawn. I don't think anybody's under any impression that they shouldn't have. I I think he would have scored. Except Pete Carroll, right? Who he stands by his statement. He's like, no, it was the right move. Well, I don't even know how you could say that. 
But yes, I know he does say that, but he's wrong. And he should have given it to Marshawn. Sorry. <laughs>